Hey, how's it going? Today is July 22nd and we're taking a look at the market, what kind of opportunities we can find. Uh, quite a bit of uh, articles to, to read today. Uh, let's see what kind of opportunities we can find. Uh, first article, uh, there is quite, uh, we're going to be taking a look at the entire uh, bunch of uh, press releases and uh, where all the attention is so it's a we're going to be taking a look at where attention is and from there perhaps we can take a part or break apart one industry and uh, we would be able to reflect the entire opportunity and we'll try to capture that perhaps that's the best structure going forward for today's video so we're going to be taking a look at the entire case industry and we're going to take a pick apart perhaps one opportunity and break apart and see uh, what size of opportunity we're going to be taking a look at. Let's begin by taking a look at uh, uh, Counselor involves a big bank on growth and boost investment and our savings. Let's try to understand it. I haven't read it right. Landmark pensions review part of government's mission to boost growth and make every part of uh, Britain better off. So let's try to understand it. I have my own opinion coming in, <laughs> but perhaps it's something that would be important, something that was published two days ago. Let's do a quick check on calendar uh, just to see where things are. Uh, we uh, just finished week uh, 151. Overall, it was a great week. Uh, I wish I have done more. <laughs> I guess I keep saying that, but. Other than that, uh, we progress into week 150. Uh, there's going to be a lot of things to accomplish this week, as well as we're going to be closing this week by taking a look at some of the government contracts. Uh, some of the bullet points that would be council launches landmark review to boost investment, increase pension pots, and tackle waste in the pension system. Okay, okay, that might be, be very, very important. It's good that the launching review during this review we would like to perhaps better understand the process as well as if they can make more savings, I guess, and all the, bring more value to people receiving money from government. New pension bill confirms King's speech could boost pension spots by over 11,000 with further consolations and all. Broad investment strategies to potentially deliver higher returns for pensions. Okay, uh, the ANOA and investment should define contribution schemes could deliver 8 billion of new productive investments into the case economy. Okay, well, perhaps housing, that's a big thing, right? So, the entire market currently projected to need roughly more than 7 million houses. And uh, government's plan is to build a 1.5 million houses, right? Which is very ambitious from what I understand, but perhaps they can deliver 1 million. So that might be some opportunities there. Action will be taken to unleash the full investment by of uh, or 360 billion local government pension schemes to make it an engine for UK's growth, right? Since yesterday I was taking a look at and uh, government's powering and it's uh, all time high. So they perhaps they're taking a look at the different ways where to get that money from. <laughs> so perhaps that would be something that I... Right? The councillor, there's a name there, has announced landmark pension review as a part of a government's mission to boost growth and every part of Britain better off. Okay, sure. Uh, under plans unveiled by new councillor, billions of pounds of investment could be unlocked in the UK's economy from defined contribution schemes alone and or pension pots for savers in defined contribution schemes could be bolstered by over 11,000, right? So if government is borrowing all-time high, government is just looking, uh, using creativity to look at different ways how where uh, capital could be sourced to fund uh, some of its initiatives, right? The review will also work closely with the Ministry of State of, of this name there, okay, a look at how unlocked the investment potential of the 360 billion local government pension scheme, which manages savings of those working to deliver uh, vital local services as well as how to tackle 2 billion 
that is uh, being spent on fees. Okay, so far some reductions can be made there. The announcement comes along with the uh, first growth mission board on Tuesday. This will uh, be chaired by the councillor and drive government's work to achieve a higher sustained growth in the G7. G7 is, by the way, it's very low target. Uh, why, why they keep saying G7? I have no idea. They, they're comparing to G7 countries who are growing very slowly, by the way. So they're setting a target very low. <laughs> they keep comparing to G7 countries. If they were to compare to other countries, uh, they, then they would set actually targets that would make them stretch. But either way, either way. New measures have already been announced to fix plan system and the creation of new national wealth fund and overall uh, overhaul of the uh, listings of uh, regimes of Tbilisi case stock exchange. The work announced today focusing on investment and the first phase in the reviewing pension landscape and will be led by the first ever joint treasurer and or department for work and pensions minister. As the name is there, the next phase uh, with the review starting letter in the will be considered for the steps into improving pension and outcomes on increased investment in UK markets, including assessing retirement adequacy. Okay, I, I don't know, I don't know. So as of now, I'm trying to understand it, right? So um, it not necessarily should be taken as critique, right? So the government needs to, uh, get, to get capital from somewhere, and the uh, government is taking a look at the different ways how to source capital, right? <laughs> Uh, there's a lot of articles and uh, not necessarily we're going to have enough time to cover everything in necessary detail, right? So I'm going to have to skip some of that information since it might be repeating. I see same numbers. Perhaps it would be important, but we don't have enough time and uh, some of that information, right? And the way how this uh, information might be presented to the reader. To cut down of uh, fragmentation and waste in LGPS, which spends around $2 billion each year on fees and costs and uh, splits across 87 funds and increased fees of 70% since 2017. The review will also consider the benefits of uh, further consolidation, right? So perhaps if there are funds, there some of those funds can be or uh, are actively managed and some of those funds are passive and uh, all these kind of systems they might consider reviewing and uh, some of those uh, investments and how capital would be raised as well as invested, right? Uh, so let's see and uh, we can keep track of uh, this entire initiative and its progress. Let's take a look at other articles. Uh, there's going to be an uh, assessment lunch uh, during which uh, people will review the entire process of uh, current education system. But either way, so there's another article that was published today, uh, 22nd of July. So let's take a look at Skills England to transform opportunities and drive growth, right? Since uh, there are a lot of skills uh, that are potentially in new uh, markets and uh, currently those markets are uh, professionals not, not being prepared for those markets. So it's something perhaps worth reviewing, but I haven't read this article, that's right to understand it. Prime Minister and Education Secretary has announced launch of Skills England to bring together the fractured skills landscape and create shared national ambition to bolster national skills. Educational Secretary has also today uh, appointed a person named the former Chief Executive of uh, Cooperation Group and Lead Non-Executive Director. So there's potential a new appointee. Skills and, uh, are crucial for economic growth uh, with a third of productivity improvements over the last two decades explained by improvement to skill levels. But between 2017 and 2022, skills shorted in the country doubled in more than a half a uh, million and now accounts for 36% of job vacancies. So perhaps if there's an issue and they're trying to uh, highlight an issue and perhaps that would be uh, part of the re uh, re reason of having a review. Skills England will bring together central and all local governments, businesses, training providers and units to meet the skills needs for the next decade across the region, providing strategic over site of the past 16 skill systems aligned with the government's industrial strategy, supporting local areas to develop the skills or workforce they need, in particular across uh, construction and or healthcare, is fundamental to the government's mission to raise growth sustainably by working with the uh, Migration Advisory Committee. <laughs> okay, okay. 
It's in so my house less and less people are moving into UK or traveling to UK. I think that that's it. That, uh, some of those here. People would say there's a lot more people are moving to UK. I think it's way less. <laughs> but we have. Uh, I won't understand it, but either way. Uh, let's uh, close on this and progress to the next article. Next article that will be uh, 33 million boost to, uh, for national space program. More than 20 national space projects has been announced today, but it, mm, there might be a private business one opening today on the uh, Far Barrow International Air Show. Okay, so and we're taking a look at potentially space and we're taking a look at air show, which might be important, but uh, if it's something already happened, I don't, uh, I'm not necessarily imp uh, interested in promoting any of those initiatives. It's good that that happened. Let's take a look at the other article. Uh, next article is something that we were taking a look at the uh, previous week where the more and more businesses would be able to manage some of the services and perhaps cost of uh, train tickets might go down. But uh, first they need to purchase those trains, right? So cost might go up <laughs> since we need to have upgrade entire fleet. And perhaps down the line they can reduce the cost, but either way, so, uh, Field take deliver our first full electric, electric train. Sellersfield uh, rail team welcomes the uh, latest addition to their fleet with months as a site to deliver of this first full electric locomotive. Uh, that uh, covers everything. I think uh, we not necessarily need to take a look at the entire article, right? So I thought it might be important. As well as it has one of the largest internal rail networks in the country with 11 miles of track supporting size operations and all key case nuclear power industry. So perhaps they do have some of the contracts and we can sell some of the services as well as I was taking a look at connected places and we're looking to establish a lot of businesses within Birmingham area which is kind of interesting. Uh, that means movement, not necessarily by ports, but movement by rail is going to be required. So we're looking to establish some of the companies and all, some of the contracts there in the future, if not right now, right? Quickly, before progressing into sustainable aviation fuel initiatives, uh, perhaps uh, it's something that we were taking a look at previously. As of now, uh, UK do not manufacture this kind of fuels themselves, but this kind of industry can potentially be created, right? And there are some statements. Uh, sustainable aviation fuel is an important part of the strategy to decarbonize air travel. It can be used uh, existing, uh, to use in existing aircraft and it emits one on average 70% fewer greenhouse gases emissions and use uh, fossil fuels on a life cycle basis, right? So that's potentially an issue, right? Uh, let's try to, uh, I thought, let's take a look at perhaps different angle, right? Let's try to understand the size of this problem. So well, that might be a little bit better, I guess. An entire article most likely with the same information. The last time when we were checking on entire industry, it was about six months ago, and they were taking a look at uh, creating entire market, right? Let's take a look at Boeing stock prices, and there's a lot of things happening. I even I'm getting tired of talking about this company. <laughs> there's a lot of things happening. There's a lot of projects, right? <laughs> things can happen, right? So I thought let's take a look at stock prices as well as what kind of information is available when taking a look at stock prices. They have uh, breaking down into one, two, three, four, five uh, key dates and something that was happening within Boeing stock uh, and uh, before it uh, uh, currently it's a uh, $180 right but again I'm not promoting this company uh, that's, uh, that makes, uh, just to make things clear right let's take a look at one of his deals that was signed within Boeing and that's where the Ryanair signs fresh expansion with 11 billion deal for Boeing 737s right let's take a look at sides of this problem since we're taking a look at aviation and how big of the problem we might have, I thought it might be important to touch on this particular contract and let's try to understand this contract instead. So that would give better perspective on the entire market and how big of a market we potentially take a look at when it comes to aviation and uh, alternative fuel sources, right? 
At first it was 11 billion, right? Uh, it's something that we were taking a look at, but it seems that that even managed to find the most recent, even bigger contract that to do it right in science. 40 billion for 300 Boeing aircrafts, right? And uh, <laughs> it's a massive contract. <laughs> Just trying to understand, if perhaps not right now, where the market is going to be and uh, potentially uh, how much of this ma uh, market will be, tr uh, be tri other uh, governments will try to capture this market as well, right? If Boeing is currently struggling, uh, Airbus is up there as well as Comac 919 is up there. So I thought I'll touch on it and uh, that would be how big of the market and fuels potentially, right? If this is how many aircrafts, uh, if not right now, in the future, there's going to be available. Uh, we're just trying to imagine how much of the <laughs> climate we're going to be taking a look at, right? I don't know if it's worth promoting more about this deal, but either way, so that's really a massive deal. $40 billion and or £31 billion. Pounds. Massive contract. The people are doing, perhaps, what some dealers are doing, are doing right, I guess. But either way, let's close on that. Thanks for watching. See you next one.